is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV doing an introduction before the introduction because in order to see what's going on inside this Ferrari, a Lusso, a Ferrari with passenger seats, well there's a big screen here, there's a little screen here, but in order to see what's going on we actually had to come to the petrol station to put some fuel in because when it's running horribly low on fuel and one of those screens ceases to be something that you can see properly so uh, basically I've come for a little ride, I wasn't expecting to go for a ride in the car but we have. As you can see, some sumptuous accommodation in the back. We're going to have a good, better look at that later. Yep, that's the uh, petrol station shot. <laughs> With a bit of luck, what you'll see after this will be the actual introduction. So there we go. Check out this steering wheel. Ooh. I absolutely have to do this little clip. Because, uh, well, basically, I just looked out the window. So I wonder what's next to me. And, uh, well, frankly, you can know you're in, you know you're in Surrey when you pull up in your Lusso in the petrol station. I happen to fill up next to a McLaren. Sorry to be so amused. I'm not very grown up. Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV. Now I know we just did a little bit in the petrol station, but we've been sitting outside Ferrari here at Maranello's in Eggham, over the road from the best place to buy a plate of oysters in Northwest London. Look at the lovely windows here. I'm sat inside a rather lovely GTC4 Lusso T. And the big deal with this car is, well, Ferrari have done something rather dramatic with the electronics. Um, I've got a gentleman by the name of Neil sitting next to me who you can only see his hand. But show us a little bit about this passenger display, Neil. This, um, this thing here is uh, so exciting. First off, if I just get close, there's a G-force meter. So this is the main screen. It shows you the revs. Also the gear, the speed at which you're traveling. Uh -huh. And then you can flick through to the Manatino screen, which is the control on the steering wheel for all the traction control and suspension settings. We've got an actual cooler, of course, I know what that Manatino is the name for this rather fabulously sexy bit of kit right there. Um, I'm going to do, uh, actually, I'm going to do, I'm doing these shots inside out and I'm no good at bloody continuity, but we'll have had a shot of what that does on the amazing triple TFT screen, uh, double soft control dashboard binnacle I should say but um, take us a, a bit through this as well again Neil because this is so so cool so this is the Manatino screen here tells you which position the driver is selected so you have the ice mode for icy conditions the wet mode and comfort mode so all different levels of traction control and suspension setting and then you can go into the sport mode and then all traction control off altogether with three beeps of are you really sure I think in Italian that's C, C, C. You're really sure. <laughs> oh wow. Um, this is a really tasty piece of TFT screenage in the middle here as well. This is no aspect ratio that's in any aftermarket thing, and it's really wide. Um, this does a bunch of dual look stuff as well, does it not, Neil? You can absolutely display. Absolutely. So once you've selected what you want to go into, so whether it's the media the nav whatever it is you want to go into you can then split screen it as well so you can combine that with the the navi screen and then you can switch it around that'd be how i do it i want loads of nav and just to roughly know what's going on there and yeah wow um i just have just i can do just a moment or two of, of music here well i could best do it from the phone or can we set it playing from the uh here we go. So we can control it all from here. That's beautiful. I'm going to turn it all the way down before YouTube gives us a copyright strike. And I can tell you that gently distorted sound was exactly how Azeo Tomita recorded it. With a tiny, you know, to actually hear that tiny analog distort. It's giving me goosebumps. It's kind of weird, but you check it out. High core electronica from Tomita. Claire the Loon. Um, what a beautiful piece of kit. This uh, steering wheel is, looks so F1. There is a, uh, well, it looks like a shock absorber on there. And you were saying that with the, uh, basically all that traction control globals and so forth, it was the Manatino, that, that you can also have another, basically doubles that because you've got the option of different settings with the shock. Correct. So if you select the sport mode there, you can also um, have all the benefits of sport mode but reduce the suspension back down to the soft mode by uh, activating the bumpy road setting which comes up in the screen up here on the right. Oh, I'm going to have to get out to have a look at that one. 
bless you in the face if you don't. Yeah, and then that, that means that the you have all the benefits of sport mode, but also the soft suspension. Wow, effectively doubling the options that the Menatino gives you. Correct. Wow, that's so cool. And then the passenger display, you also have the media, which is controllable by the passenger. So you can change tracks, you can select the source, and then scroll through again. It just gives you the uh, position and the compass. This is so cool. Back through to the main screen, the most interesting one. Yes, this is a level of involvement for the passenger, quite unlike anything in any other manufacturer. Normally they'll get that you have a little look at stuff. And I was going, oh, and I'm sure this display is just smaller because there's no way that Ferrari wants to spend you the weight of. But it's not about a second display. It's about stuff that's specifically fun and adds to the experience for the passenger. How many of these have you handed over so far, sir? Uh, less than 10. Less than 10, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to make some joke about my Volvo being rare. Yes, it's not the sort of thing it's like, you're not like a split screen owner waving at fellow owners on the street. Neil, thank you so, so much. What an absolutely awesome piece of kit. And literally, I wasn't expecting to get into ride in it, but just going to the petrol station was almost entertaining. And to discover that we were um, next door to a McLaren in there was just hilarious. Um, and this is the first moment when I've already properly looked and seen the badges on the speakers. JBL, but it says JBL Professional on here. James B. Lansing Sounder, one of the first and most awesome loudspeaker companies in history, just so you know. Invented edge wound voice coils, that's a bit geeky. The very first ever talky movie, The Jazz Singer with Al Jolson, was JBL loudspeakers. They are the sound of rock and roll, and in here, in this Ferrari, I have to tell you that it is commensurate technology. It is loud, clear, crisp, and tremendously detailed with a lovely image down the middle. I would love to play loads of music, but I can't because, um, frankly, YouTube would tell us all off. Okay, so yes, Ferrari GTC Ford Lusso T, it's JBL Professional loudspeakers in here. Right, well, I'm no expert at all and I'm fearful of sitting in the cockpit, so I've chickened out ridiculously. Neil's going to show us a little bit about how the dash binnacle triple uh, display works in this beautiful Lusso. Show us this display on the right, so how, how does this all work? Okay, so this is all your proper car stuff, so your dials and gauges and settings, so you can arrange everything uh, how you want to see it. Um, so this is one of the screens here, you can scroll to the right, so first of all we have temperatures, water and oil, and then you have oil pressure, battery voltage, and then tyre pressures for the tyre pressure monitoring system. So that's that one, and then if we go to the main menu, you can select what you want to see, so that was status. You then have the trip computer, which is standard with most cars, and then the VDA. The VDA is the vehicle dynamics, so that is uh, telling you exactly what position the Manatino is in and how active each part of the traction control and safety systems are in the car. So you have ice, wet mode, comfort, sport, and then everything off all together. Could with that three beeps going. See? 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 <laughs> yeah, are Fabulous. you sure, sir? Yes. And then we have the turbo gauges, so we can click on there. And then you have three different screens. You can see the turbo boost, response, and efficiency. And then the final screen is all your settings. So this is where you go in, you can select what you want to see on the left screen. You can select um, uh, what language, etc., you want it to be in. And sets things like the date and the clock and all that sort of stuff wow so that's that so the most common would be to have it on the status so you can see your temperatures there and then on the left hand screen yep you have this is a slave screen so you can see what, what you want there's a little switch behind the steering wheel at the moment it's set to the speedo and then you can select the media screen and then the speedo pops up on the right hand side so you've always got that visible um, and another little click down you can select the sat nav or repeat the sat nav screen or you can go into your phone once that's paired up and connected and then back to the speedo and then once you're on that it will then give you a little repeater of what's uh, being played in the um, media along the bottom here we're on mute at the minute um, and then you've got obviously the clock and everything in there as well god that is completely brilliant there's some seriously 
own flavoured, that ain't me too type electronics. The really delicious thing is the uh, how much of the engineering they realise the Ferrari owner really wants to engage with and, and, and know about. But it has to be said for me, the uh, involvement of the passenger and what's going on with that screen over there on the left hand side is so, so cool because I was just thinking oh, I was just information, but it's not. Oh, this is so cool. Thank you, sir. Marinello, a uh, place where you can buy Ferrari and other very fine brands of motor car, I should say Mach. This is Adam Rain, signing out for Talk Audio TV. Thanks ever so much.